All right, so let's work now uh, on the problem number 49 from Siegel, number 49, in page 9 to 3. Okay, so this problem uh, asks the following. What's the major ionic species? What are the major ionic species? Major ionic species. Uh, present at the pH 7.5. pH is given 7.5. And the various solutions of 0.15 molar. In A, the solution is uh, leucine. A is leucine. Leucine solution of uh, pH 7.5. So let's uh, write the various forms of leucine and find out what's the leucine at pH 7.5. All right. So first we write the fully protonated form of leucine, H3. H plus CH COOH. Again, this is the fully protonated form because we are talking about uh, titration here so that we can know exactly which form do we have. So when the f we add the, uh, hydroxide or titrate, we raise the pH of the solution. First thing that's happened is this proton from the carboxylic group is going to come off. And then we're going to have this piece A3, CH, COO minus, and CH2, CH, CH3, CH3. All right, so we have that. And if you continue to try to rate that, then we have the second proton that comes off from the side chain of the amino group. It's going to become NH2, CH. COO minus and CH2, CH, uh, CH3, CH3. So now we have the three different forms of leucine. This form here has one charge, so it's called the leucine plus. Uh, this form here has one charge in here, one charge in leucine zero, and this is the leucine minus. So let's write this thing down here. So the species that we have is uh, leucine plus, leucine zero, and leucine minus one. Uh, the pKa for this first step here, uh, we find the table that's equals 2.36, and the pKa for, pKa for the next step is 9.6. Okay, so uh, the closest equilibrium that we have here is the second equilibrium, right? The second one is the closest one. So this is the closest to the pH that we have 7.5 and we have here 9.6. Therefore, the two species that are equilibrium at that uh, step is leucine zero in equilibrium with leucine minus one, right? So now we have a pH that's below the pKa because the pKa that we have is 9.6. Remember what we had in class, uh, when we have uh, the pH below the pKa, or pH below the pKa, uh, the species on the left is going to be uh, the predominant species, the species on the left. On the left. So what's the species on the left in this case in here? We have uh, leucine as the species on the left. And because this is so far away from the pKa, it's predominantly leucine zero. Basically, there are almost nothing of uh, leucine uh, minus one. So that's predominantly uh, the species on the left. Leucine zero is the answer for this first part of the problem. Let's see in B. In B, they have a, uh, which was the amino acid for, for the part B. The amino acid for part B was aspartic acid. Aspartic acid for part B. Uh, so let's go with aspartic acid now. We start the same thing with the protonated, the fully protonated aspartic acid, H3N plus CH, COOH. And this is aspartic acid. There is only one metal in here and COOH. Right? Now we are going to continue this thing in here and the deprotonate the first step. We are talking about it. The pKa1 in here, it's going to be H3N plus 
CHCOO minus and CH2COOH. Now, when you go to the, sec to the next step, in the case of uh, aspartic acid, the next step is going to be what? The next PKA is this one of the side chain of the carboxylic group. So this PKA, uh, the next one, the PKA2, is about 3.86 when the PKA1 is uh, 209 for the case of aspartic acid. So all these PKAs are going to be in tables anyway. So uh, the next step then is H3N plus CHCOO minus CH2COO minus, correct? Uh, and finally, we have the last step of this process going from here. Uh, there is one more PKA that's going to be the PKA associated with this uh, charge there. So that one is the PKA3, PKA3, which equals 9.82. All right, so this one in here is going to become H2N, CH, COO minus, CH2, COO minus, right? So if you have, a, if your pH is about 7, uh, then we have these two species in here. Let's write the, the species, which the, what's the form of this species. This is plus, right? So that will be aspartic acid plus 1. The second one we have, we have plus and the minus, so that's going to be the aspartic zero. The third one we have the, the plus in here, we have minus, that's zero, and then we have negative one, so that's aspartic minus one. And the last one is going to be, we have no charge in here, but we have not minus and the minus, so this is give us the aspartic minus two. Right, so this is going to be our equilibrium. Our equilibrium is between aspartic minus one and aspartic minus two. Uh, asp minus one in equilibrium with asp minus two, and the, the pKa for this equilibrium here again is 9.86. So if you are having a, a pH of 7.5, a pH of 7.5, the species highly predominant here is the species on the left because you are below the PKA. So the species of the left, in this case, is aspartic minus. So that's going to be the predominant species that you find at the equilibrium when we have uh, this uh, pH of 7.5. So moving here for uh, next page so that we can uh, work on the last part of these problems, which is C. In C is lysine. So C is lysine. Lysine, let's write the, the structure first. Fully protonate, COOH, CH, normal backbone, right? And H3 plus. Here, let's do a trick. Let's write CH2 four times and H3 plus. That's the side chain for lysine. So obviously, the first proton to go is the carboxylic group. So the first equilibrium is going to be. COO minus CH, NH3 plus remain uh, CH2 four times NH3 plus. All right. So now when you look at the second PKA, the second PKA is for the alpha amino group. So in that case, this is the alpha amino group that has to go first. So now the equilibrium is going to be. COO minus CH, NH2, and the side chain of lysine remains protonate because it has a higher pK. So the next step then, obviously the last one is this proton here can be deprotonated, so it's going to become now CO minus and the four methylene groups here, NH2. Okay, so let's see what we have here uh, for the isoform, the forms of lysine. 
so we have this one here we have a plus and we have another plus in here so this one is going to be lies in two plus the next one we have plus in here we have minus there which neutralize so the overall charge is positive one so this is the piece lies in plus the next one we have negative there and the positive here so neutralize this this isoelectric lies in lies in zero and lastly uh, this piece has only one negative charge there so this is this piece called lies in minus since your question is about the pH 7.5, uh, let's write down first the pKa so that we find out where this one here. The first pKa was uh, pKa 1, uh, 2.18. Then the second pKa, uh, pKa 2, equals 8.95, 8.95. And finally, the last pKa, pKa 3, uh, which is 10.5, 10.5. Okay, so since we have 8.5, your equilibrium of interest in here is this equilibrium between lies in, lies in plus and lies in zero. Because this one in here is the equilibrium that has a pKa of 8.95. And your pKa being 7.5, 7.5 is on the left of 8.95. So your pH is below the pKa, so therefore, this species on the left is the predominant species. So the answer for that question is lies in the plus is the predominant species here. That's the complete solution for this problem.